Section seven, multiplying fractions without doing pictures. Now these are going to be any fractions, not just unit fractions. Um, and here are kind of our two steps. When we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. That means we multiply our numerator by our numerator and our denominator by our denominator. And then our second step, we are going to simplify or you might hear the word reduce or put in lowest terms. Any of those mean the same thing if needed. Not all problems will need that, but some will. Here is some examples. So if I have, and this is kind of the algebraic way for seeing this. If I have any fraction and I have a number in my numerator and a number for my denominator, these just stand for numbers, a number in my numerator and a number in my denominator, uh, my resulting is going to be my numerator times my numerator and my denominator times my denominator. Here's an example that actually have numbers in them. Let's say we have 2 ninths times 3 sevenths. I'm going to multiply straight across. 2 times 3 is 6 and multiply my denominators. 9 times 7 is 63. Oh, but 6 63rds, we can reduce 6 63rds. Both of these numbers can be divided by 3. I'm dividing by 3 thirds. Dividing by 3 thirds is the same as dividing by 1, which doesn't change the value. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 63 divided by 3 is 21. And 2 21sts would be our final answer. Let's go ahead and do some examples of our own. Example one, compute, which just means find the answer, to 1 7th times 5 7ths. We are gonna multiply straight across. One times five is five. Seven times seven is 49. Can I reduce five 49ths? Nope, I can't reduce that one, so that is going to be my final answer. Example two, compute 7 tenths times 1 fifth. We're going to multiply straight across. 7 times 1 is 7. 10 times 5 is 50. And can I reduce 7 fiftieths? <clears throat> nope, 7 and 50, they don't have any common factor other than 1. So 7 fiftieths is my final answer. Now let's do one. Notice that example one and two had some unit fractions in there. Um, let's do one that doesn't have a unit fraction in there. Compute eight ninths times two fifths. Well, my goodness. You know, it was kind of easier to think in the previous examples of what's one seventh of five sevenths. Um, but eight ninths of two fifths, that doesn't seem, you know what, let's go ahead and use a picture just to kind of see what does this look like? I'm using that box method of earlier. I'm taking a unit square. So this is a square that's one unit long by one unit high and eight ninths. Well, I broke this into ninths. So these are all, oops, these are all nine equal pieces somewhat. I try to do the best I could. And then this one I broke into fifths because we're multiplying by two fifths. So this eight ninths, I went ahead and I took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those nine sections. So these are all kind of colored in this color here, this left hatch. And then two fifths. Well, if I broke, I'm kind of going to ignore this one. If I broke these eight ninths up into five equal parts, so here's one, two, three, four, five, and I only want two of those parts. That means that's this section right here. This right here is how many I'm looking at. Okay, well, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then another group, that's gonna be 16. But then how many squares or little rectangles do I have total? Well, I have nine and I have five groups. So that's gonna be nine times five, which is 45. I have 16 
out of 45 total little rectangles that were made up. And if we take a look back at our original picture, original problem, if we multiply straight across, eight times two is 16, nine times five is 45, it checks out. So multiplying straight across, that's, if you take a look at the picture, that's why it works. Last one, compute 12 fifteenths times 2 thirds. Again, we're going to multiply straight across. 2 times 2 is 4. 15 times 3 is 45. And always ask, can I reduce 4 for 40 fifths? Nope, they don't have anything that are in common, no common factors. So that is my final answer. Go ahead and get some practice at multiplying straight across.